This is a story I like to call the time my mom almost went to jail. So I'm a triplet, which as you can imagine led to a pretty interesting childhood to say the least. For the most part, we were good kids, but there were occasional episodes where we were sort of rebellious. This was one of them. We were on our way to preschool. We must have been about three or four years old, and we were already running late when my mom suddenly realized that she had forgotten her wallet back at our house. We had only gone a few miles at this point, so she whipped the car around, pulled up our driveway, and left us in the car for just a few minutes while she ran inside. Not a second later, my brother climbs up in the driver's seat, turns around, and says, Girls, we're going for a ride. My sister and I exchange looks, and we know he is not supposed to be doing this, but we don't actually think he's going to try to drive the car. So it was the 90s, and we were in one of those town and country vans that everyone had back then, and for whatever reason, it didn't have the safety feature that someone at the automobile manufacturer has probably since installed solely because of our family. But whatever the case, you didn't have to push the brake before shifting into gear. My brother didn't put the car into drive, but he did manage to put the car into neutral. And since our driveway sits on a pretty large hill, we naturally started drifting backwards toward the busy interstate behind us. At this time, my mom walks out of the house nonchalantly and suddenly freezes. Her face looks exactly like I imagine one of those moms that lifts a car off her baby in a parking lot somewhere. She is scared out of her mind, but she is also bound and determined to stop the car from rolling down the driveway. She starts to run, and I realized later what she was trying to do was literally stop the car with sheer mom strength. And while she's doing this, she starts yelling at us to unlock the doors. We're scared out of our minds, we're looking at each other, and all of us are sort of agreeing. We're not going to unlock the doors because we are about to get in the worst trouble of our lives. Somehow, by the grace of God, the car starts to curve a bit back towards the house. Luckily, my brother had not turned the wheel at all, and we somehow didn't go into the road, but sort of slowly drifted and bumped into the side of our house. It's a brick house, and we didn't hit too hard, so other than a few scrapes in the car and a few dents in the brick, we were all okay. I look back on that moment, and I'm sure my mom is glad everything turned out the way it did, not just because my brother, sister, and I probably would have died, but also because she probably would have gone to jail. So, almost 22 years later, we're all alive and well, and luckily my mom has never had to serve hard time.